I try to make things that bring up emotions that I feel, that I feel are out there, that are common to us all, that are on some level archetypal. Michael Hopka's work is often called dark, but he says it's realistic. Life is difficult. There's a lot of trials and tribulations to life, to everyone's life. We all struggle. I think the darkness is really a reflection of anxiety that I feel we all feel. Hafka traces his anxiety to his family's roots. Both of his parents are Holocaust survivors whose entire families were wiped out by the Nazis. The reality of understanding that you come from uh, a family that perished and um, from so much suffering, there is a sense of responsibility that you have to express some of that. That expression is pronounced in many of his works, some more obviously, like The Selecting Hand, a depiction of the selection process many of his own relatives faced in the concentration camps. The vision that I understood of Mengele in the concentration camps selecting which Jews will die and which Jews will work. And it expresses the hell that it was. Hafka's handprint shows up in a number of his works over the last few decades, including one of his most recent ones, which he showed us in his Red Hook studio. So this is called the schematics of angst. What yes. does that mean? Well, I, I identified with this figure as having angst in this world of being produced by monstrous forces that we can't really figure out and being observed continuously, like we are in, in the sense that social media is always observing us. Speaking of social media, platforms like Instagram have helped Hafka share his art with a vast audience, though he's already internationally known. His works are in the permanent collections of the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the MoMA, among a long list of other museums, and his paintings are sold in galleries across Europe. The way he tells it, his big break was just luck, an art-collecting cardiologist discovering some of his early etchings and sending his work to the MoMA, which accepted them. That cardiologist would turn out to be a Holocaust survivor himself. I think because he was so aware of reality, having been a survivor of Auschwitz, and also being a doctor, life and death was his trade. He was able to relate to it and was able to bridge my being a complete unknown artist to the Museum of Modern Art. Luck is another theme in his work and his family life. It's how his father says he managed to survive. Everything he told me was luck, so I, I see that in my career and all people's survival. Luck is a big factor. As for Hofka's career, it continues as both an artist and now a musician, too. He and his wife, Yonad, are about to release an album with their band, Feeding Goats. He can't predict what his next great piece of art will be. All of them, he says, are based on feelings, not ideas. As the saying goes, work makes you free. It's, it's how I live. In Brooklyn, Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.